Hey guys, what's going on? Trigger Happy Job coming at you with another New World video, guys. So today's video, what we're going to be talking about is fishing. Now, fishing can be one of the most boring or one of the most satisfying jobs slash roles in the game. I'll let you decide on what you and how you feel about it. Uh, me personally, I do kind of enjoy the fishing. It, it's kind of serene. Uh, granted, you know, as we know, this isn't nature. We're not nature right now. We uh, we are in our, our home office here doing video recording. So it's not quite the same feel as fishing out in the actual outdoors, guys. But uh, as you will notice, I'll kind of show you how to, to, to get the fish hooked, set, bring it real in. Right now, you will see here we are in a certain area where you will see that I have a one out of three star fishing spot. And I'm going to kind of explain to you what this means and kind of what you're going to see moving forward. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. Now you will notice here that we currently have this little circle in front of us. Now, if I hit F3, that's going to bring up my fishing rod. If I hit R, we are in a freshwater spot. So we're going to go ahead and tie this fire plate bait on. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to hit into this fishing hole there. You will see that I landed on the hot spot. Now, what is a hot spot? You may ask. It is a spot where better fish are going to spawn. You can go around and you can fish anywhere that has water. But when you fish out of a hot spot, your chances for better fish, higher tier level fish is much, much greater. Now, you may ask, okay, well, why is that important, John? Why do I need to worry about uh, what tier my fish is or anything like that? Well, the reason why you kind of want to worry about this and kind of wonder is like, what, what are we actually getting involved in? Is a lot of you guys are going to want to be doing trading and, and different things for your guild or not guild, sorry, your company. Well, getting higher tier materials means you can sell them at a higher price because not everyone's able to get those. So you definitely want to fish hotspots so that we get the higher tier as well as you can create and usually craft better uh, items with higher tier materials. In this case, we'll be doing a lot of food crafting and we are going to need higher tier fish to do that. And it's also going to help because we're going to be able to sell them for that. So now you can see here, I got a small catfish. This is an uncommon tier three, um, tier three fish. Now, we uh, we missed the hot spot, so we're just gonna pull it back in by clicking here. So basically, by holding the left click here, it's gonna cast. It's gonna bring up this line. It'll show us where we land. We landed on the hot spot here. It's gonna tell us to get ready. We got a few seconds to set that hook. Now notice the green bar in the center, guys. Notice how this is going up and down as I'm reeling in. This is what you want to pay attention to. This is what's gonna essentially your the tension on your fishing line is set by this. So you notice as I'm clicking, I'm left clicking in here to kind of make this go bigger and smaller. As it gets towards the orange, I'm letting go so that way the fish can can retract back a little bit and then I can reel back in more. Now this is no different than IRL if you were to fish in real life. This is kind of normal and this is what you're gonna be doing anyways. So they have done a fairly decent job of kind of recreating said environment, but nonetheless, I mean, it is different. Oh, so see, we, we got a little too quick happy. We got a little trigger happy there. So we, we pulled back in the rod a little too soon. So now we've landed back on the hot spot. We got ready and we pulled too early again. Notice it will tell you. So you do have to wait until you are prompted on screen. Notice the set hook. There we go. Now we can reel it in. And we'll just keep going. Now, this is, it, it's kind of tedious, kind of monotonous, but you can get high tier stuff. Now, I I know there are specifications for the actual fishing holes, like what you can actually get in them, what, what comes of it, what doesn't come out of it, uh, what level here and there. You'll notice I'm getting a lot of tier three um, fish here. Now, I want to say, and well, it's all uncommon as well. I know depending on the star, oops, we got rid of our fishing pole. So it's a uh, oh, fishing pole is broken. So let's go ahead and repair our fishing pole. Sorry about that. Can't really uh, do that if we, you know, can't fish if our, our rod's broken, right? So let's go ahead and bring that back out. We just repaired that, throw it back on here. There we go. And we'll keep fishing it. Now, this is just a tier one. Now, if we go into a higher tier spot location and we start fishing, we're gonna get better odds for better fish, higher tier fish. Now, this is only one star, so it's not gonna be the greatest, but we're fishing out of a hot spot, so that increases our chances of getting good stuff. Um, I did find a infographic that kind of explained this a little bit more, and I don't know how honest it is. So I don't wanna cite them yet, 
But what I'm understanding is, is by the, by the number of hotspot areas and stars on there, you'll go from anywhere between 30 fish to 10 fish are going to be in this hot spot and the rarities are going to increase so right now we're in a one spot one star so what i'm understanding is that you should have the 30 fish you can pull out of this hot spot and out of those 30 fish you have a better chance of getting a legendary fish versus a common or uncommon fish now as you go up in the tier of stars just like any other game you're gonna get a higher chance to get better and bigger and better fish that are higher tier such as legendaries those are going to be called it looks like secret hotspots is what they're calling them on the three stars i obviously have not found that yet we are very beginning in the game as you can see here if i hit k uh and we go over here to my fishing level on all the way to the right guys i don't have a whole lot of experience as you see here we're only at level six but I am noticing that uh, it, it makes a difference. This is kind of fun. Uh, it's very relaxing to fish in this game. It's not quite the same as if it was, you know, outside, but it is kind of fun. Nonetheless, I'm enjoying it. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. But you will definitely need to to do this. Oh, we got a little too click happy again. I noticed that I landed in the we landed in the hot spot, but it's gone. So we have to wait for that timer, whatever the imaginary timer is, to kind of disappear and wait, and it'll come back eventually. And what you'll be able to do is when it does come back, you'll come back in, you'll throw your line, you'll fish, and that'll reset the third 30, I think, fish that you will allow you to be pulled out of there. So that's the biggest thing with fishing, guys. You're definitely gonna wanna do this as well because you're gonna wanna get up your crafting. Um, as you can see here, this is your gather, gathering side, but you also have different things such as cooking and Arcana up the top here. When you go in here, guys, so Arcana, you can see this is all your magic type stuff, all your potions you can be made and everything you can get here. And if you can look in the right hand section here, this is kind of like the level of being able to equip use it, right? So if you go into cooking here, you will notice that, okay, we get to a lot of different dishes and a lot of different things, okay? And you're gonna need a lot of different materials to, to actually create these things. And all the way at the bottom here, these are gonna be the, your like 165s. These are gonna be your most, uh, most, most and best different uh, cooking things you can do but you have to level it up. And the only way you're gonna be able to level that up is by cooking and to do basic cooking, you're gonna to need to get basic materials such as fishing, getting all these butter, fish, bait, you know, this, these different things here and putting them all together so that we can then level up and grow your character's levels. It's very, very important. That's basically the gist of a MMORPG game is how high and how fast can you level because it's gonna make the biggest difference. Also, the makes the biggest difference is if you go into your engineering tab here, you'll see that you have multiple different things you can craft within here. Notice that you go from flint to iron to steel. Oh, there's also like saplings, fury, stuff like that. But then you go into the obelisk, right? Uh, for your weapons anyways, and so on and so forth. You can see as we grow in our level and in our engineering, your equipment gets better. And so if you go down here to the star metal, right? Uh, it doesn't actually tell you here what the uh, what the improvement is, but it's a six significant amount of uh, bonus as far as speed goes, because if I go in and I hit tab right now, guys, you will see that my current like sickle is 120 127% gathering speed. My fishing pole is only a wooden one. This is a very basic, this is very basic tier fishing pole. First one you get, and it's just going to be at 100. Now, if we go up into the uh, next level, it's going to be at a 125. So it means what I was having to do with that tension as I'm reeling back and fishing, as you go to the higher tiers, you're going to have less that you have to do as far as that's concerned. So definitely keep that in mind as you're trying to level these different gatherings, guys, that you want to make sure that you're also leveling your gear that you're using to complete said tasks, such as harvesting, fishing, mining, logging, tracking and skinning. You want to make sure that you have those at a top tier level. So that way you can farm and you can gather so much quicker and easier. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that helped you out, guys. Make sure you are finding different areas to go to go fish that have these little hot spots. Um, in case you're wondering where this hot spot was at, it is in Windsward, as I said in the beginning of the video, right over here, right at the edge of this little waterfront. So if you follow the moat through the, 
through the city coming out here you will find this one uh i don't know of the other ones guys so definitely leave me a note down in the comments below if you want to share the locations of the different fishing spots we greatly appreciate that here on the channel and yeah until next time guys peace